Hey everyone, it's the Mayhem Minute. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. It's a podcast day hangover here on this uh, April 8th, 2015. And the big news, hey, last night uh, on the Wrestling Mayhem Show uh, 464, if you want to check that out, we had Sarah Feeney on. A, uh, a regional uh, uh, independent pro wrestler, a women's wrestler, champion all over the place. And we were talking about AJ Lee's retirement uh, from last week. I think we just talked about it on this show even a little bit last week as well. And and, and talked about uh, that situation and the state of things. And it was really interesting this morning. Uh, the thing I woke up to in my in my uh, reader was uh, this article from Diva Dirt. Indie star Mickey Knuckles announces retirement. Um, so sad to hear that go. I, I did, uh, the, confirmed in the article, uh, her final match actually taking place last month was an intergender Falls Count Anywhere match against Nick Estebon. I was very familiar with that. That's actually what we shot for, uh, Ring of, uh, Renegade Wrestling Alliance's, uh, March to Victory, uh, uh DVD. Uh, so, uh, so the news is, and, and, and while it's sad to see her go, it's r- really happy for the reason. Uh, she sent a tweet out that said, no more wrestling for me. Also, I'm pregnant. Uh, thanks for the year. So good for her. Um, you know, we talked a lot last night with Sarah about, um, you know, the idea of, you know, why is that shelf life so short for the ladies in wrestling, especially WWE, of course. And and this kind of life decision situation like this is exactly one of those reasons. Um, and, uh, and and then uh, so curious to see again this morning, um, uh, you know, Mickey Knuckles also doing this. Uh, Mickey Knuckles, she's a, a veteran of... Uh, all over the place. She's been in TNA as Moose, you may recall her. Um, she's also been in WSU, OVW, AIW, IWA, Mid-South, and of course locally here with the RWA. Um, and, and I definitely recommend you looking up some of her stuff um, over the years. Uh, she's one of the rare breeds that that is very into the hardcore wrestling uh, as a lady. Had a very fun match, you know, not bloody or anything like that, just a fun hardcore Falls Count Anywhere match here with RWA, and, and she was a great addition, uh, had some uh, fun stuff going on, mixed tag matches, all alike, uh, with the Sanjay Dudd and, and uh, Jesse's Bell Smothers and their crew, um, with the, I think they're calling themselves the Bad Boys Club or something, um, so, uh, you know, congrats, and sorry to see you go, uh, so here's our best to uh, Mickey Knuckles and all of her future uh, life endeavors, so, um, but you know, you never know, maybe she'll come back, and that's the other thing, you know, I mean, this is, this is one of those... This is exactly the kind of stuff they talk about. And we discussed last night with Total Divas on your hair on the bellas, you know, talking about these things. And uh, as we stated last night, you're only a true wrestling fan if you also, also watch Total Divas. So let me know what you think about all those points about Mickey Knuckles leaving the business and everything else. Uh, please comment on this video, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can visit PittsburghWrestling.com. Pick up that last RWA DVD with Mickey Knuckles on it and a couple, couple more before that she's been on as well. She had a great run with the company uh, over the last uh, six months, I think. So, And, uh, of course, WrestlingMayhemShow.com has so much more. The Indie Wrestling Show, uh, our Indie Mayhem Show, where we had um, um, Evan Jalistico, uh, famously of uh, you know Texas Wrestling, St. Louis Anarchy, um, and uh, especially Chikara, uh, uh, King of Trios last year, for instance. And so much more. At Sorgatron on Twitter, at Mayhem Show as well. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.